Hi hey YouTube, uh, PGM98387 here, uh, Pacific Northwest. Uh, it's December, uh, Sunday, December 3rd, 2011. Oh, it's, uh, it's about 40, 48, 47 degrees out. I'm here in my um, little outbuilding in my backyard. And I just wanted to give you a status on my solar um, projects that I've been working on and tell you what, I've t what I tried to do and some of my acquisitions that I've made, um, purchases, and uh, just tinkering, you know, around with uh, solar. And these are the, uh, this is what I tried to do. Some of you will probably go, yeah, of course it didn't work. There wasn't enough of a load to uh, provide, you know, the umph amperage you need to run this. But what I did is I went and I, I bought a uh, 400 watt inverter. And this is a uh, sine inverter. I got this through Inverters R Us, and I tried to um, power this inverter directly off of the combined um, 400, two, two 450-watt panels, these sun modules. So what I did is I combined these two together parallel and connected them with these uh, dual male-male, female-female, um, connectors through a um, household wire or this wire here this heavy copper and I connected them to the uh, sine inverter in full sunlight with the panels I just uh, propped them up against the fence in my backyard and what happened was the red light came on but the green light didn't come on so there wasn't enough power just I thought to myself well if I have them directly from the solar panels to the inverter then I won't need any batteries I'll just be able to run power when the sun is on the panels I'll be able to convert it to AC and I'll run you know light load you know you know appliances without any batteries but there's but it just didn't give enough power so I was thinking of putting those combining those and making those a 24 volt and putting them parallel to these big 24 volt and then I'll get you know approximately you know less than 600 watts um, 24 volt and that might make this work but I've what I've so now I'm thinking well that's cheapest that's the cheapest thing to do so I was starting with what's the least expensive way to utilize these panels and make the best use of them with the least amount of money to be spent and the simplest way to use the power from solar panels so the next route I'm gonna go is I ordered um, through Missouri Wind and Solar um, these items here there's a uh, 24 volt gauge little it's a it's a analog um, voltmeter and I'm going to use that to monitor the voltage continuously from the uh, solar. So what I have is a 24 volt system. So this was my next avenue of, of, uh, of pursuit. I bought this uh, water heater element. What I'm going to do is just keep my eye out on Craigslist or in the uh, eBay for a used uh, small you know 10 or 20 gallon water heater and swap this out and use this in place and try to use the existing thermostat if you see Jeff Molly's video from Missouri Wind and Solar he demonstrates how to do that how to hook that up and right now he's kind of undergoing some surgery I guess he has sick lung cancer it was kind of bad it and they also sent me this um, this uh, it's a uh, hundred amp circuit breaker and what I was thinking of <laughs> I should have probably should probably have this already installed what I was gonna do is put this right between the um, right between the combined um, two racks break that wire right there and put the circuit breaker in place there so I'll have one I think it's the negative side to the negative side that goes that would go to the charge controller box. You can see right now my voltage level I have. 
on my battery bank. So I got a nice healthy voltage on my batteries. Batteries are down there, of course, everybody's seen the batteries. They promote my battery bank for, for the, I guess that's, you know, everybody's buying batteries for power outages, so. And I got a little bit of amps coming in because the sun's gone behind those trees over there, but the problem is I don't have much of a sunny spot, so. Anyhow, that's what I was going to do. Try that as a my next route. Install that circuit breaker, which I needed. I really needed one of those so I could shut do the shutoff from the panels to the charge controller. And then get a water heater and use the 24-volt uh, panels to heat water. Just use that to heat water and maybe if, if, if what I can do is like have that as a dump to the water heater after the batteries get charged because eventually I'll probably get another um, get another one of these, but get get one of these that will do a, a MPPT, and they're kind of expensive. Rather than try to start a new battery bank, you know, from scratch, and make it a 24 volt battery bank, I can get an MPPT controller, put it next to this one. Um, there's Henry Becquerel. Uh, put it next to this one, and have it down voltage from 24 volt to 12 volt for the battery bank, the existing battery bank I have. So that was my uh, plans for that and these are some of the MC4 connectors that I got. I'll give you a link to where I got those. I got these on eBay. There's the ma male, male and female set. Ten sets of those. And I've been playing around with those. It turns out I need a lineman's pliers because these little uh, the crimpers that I, the crimper strippers that I have aren't really they're not beefy enough to be able to really do a good job on crimping um, to the to the contacts because they're really really got to crimp down really hard to make a good good solid um, connection um, for these. So when you put the wire on these, you know, it's kind of tricky. So that's what I was that's what I did over here. They're kind of hard to get apart. You need a special tool. You know, it's kind of kind of overkill for what I'm going to do. But I guess they're made that way so that they <clears throat> can weather and be outside and they can stand up to like rain and snow and freezing, thawing and all that and just be safe and easy to connect, disconnect if you're doing a lot of them. Oh, so that's what I've been up to. Anyhow, uh, I'll keep you posted. And the uh, the rainwater thing, i just been too kind of cold and rainy. I want to be out so I, I need to get the pipe for that, so I need to do that. It's going to be my one of my other projects I'm working on. Anyhow, PGM uh, 98387 Pacific Northwest Tacoma, signing off.